Welcome to Classic Klondike Solitaire. Today, I'm going to show you a couple ways to find an extra move. In this uh, game right here, uh, this is solvable, but if you don't find the extra move, it's not solvable. So let's start out just to play the cards here right here. All right, we got a lot of cards that are about the same. Now, a lot of times we see this and we'd like to play this nine of spades right here. I take a different angle. There's 24 cards here. What I like to do is cycle through all the way to the end and then play the cards. So, like, I'm not going to play these cards right here. I'm going to wait and see what's available and then come back to it. There's also one little caveat. If I have two of the same card, let's say I had two queens, and I could actually play that queen, I might play the first queen before I play the last queen. Just because it, uh, the reason being is it, if you play a card out of here, it resets how these are stacked, and you can get different looks. Now, the second part of this is the natural tendency when you see these cards would be to go, right, to play it like that. That's not going to work. Because if you go through, all of a sudden, you know, you only have the one move, and that's this uh, nine right here. And, I mean, that'll reset and everything, but uh, I don't like that move. So what I like to do instead is, okay, let's go back here. We have these three cards right here. All right, nice. What I'd like to know is what cards are after. So there's an eight of diamonds, can't play that. Because if we just, we have a couple of options here. We could play just the ace. We could play two aces. So if we play two aces, the card that's getting pulled is this king of diamonds next. Okay, we can't move that. Next card that's getting pulled is the jack of spades. Can't move that. We could move the jack of hearts right here. But in order to move that jack of hearts right there, what we need to do... Let's go back here. He's only move one ace. Because if we pull one ace instead of two, that's going to change. So let's say if I pull one card, this card goes down next. If I pull two cards, this card will show next. So, okay, we want to get this jack of hearts open. We're only going to move one ace. So, okay, we cycle through. All right. And uh, I think there was a nine. Let me show you another example here. This 9 on the end, right? I know I have a 9 in the beginning. I'm saving that 9 in the beginning to play. I'm not going to play the 9 on the end. So, okay, we go to the next. Go all the way through again. And uh, I like to play toward the end. So, like, I'm not playing this ace. Or the ace isn't available anywhere. But I'm not playing the early cards. I'm playing the later cards. And then working my way down. So, okay, I can play this jack of hearts now, right? Now... There are two variations here. Uh, variation one, if you go like this, all right, not much there. Variation two, a little bit more. So we'll, we will go with variation two here. Okay. Now, like I said, this is about finding the extra move. So let's see what we can do. Now we can start, now that we've moved some of the cards around, we can start moving some of these cards through. Uh, the idea is to try to figure out ways to get around being bottlenecked, where you don't have options and you don't have moves. And you know, sometimes you got to look at several different variations. Like this card will eventually be played, but I'm waiting until I have no other moves left. And let's see, this may be. Yep. Okay. So now, all right. Now we cycle through. There's no other moves that, that I've seen, unless I was going too fast. We play it, and that's going to move this two of diamonds down next time. This card will move down next time. we got to move right here. Sweet. So that opens up. Just finding that little extra move, which we did right there, opens up a lot of possibilities. And now it's, you know, can we find one more extra move? And if we can do that, we're going to be able to solve this, so... Okay, now I'm going to wait on this card, even though I like it a lot. I might actually move it. I'm going to wait on this card until I see there's no more moves. So what I'd like to do is, you know, whittle this top pile down first and then 
focus on you know what I have here. Sometimes you can make exception to that. You, you get it if you know like what cards are where. But generally speaking, that's how I pr would prefer to attack it here. And let's see. Okay. So next time through, I might be cycling on that two of diamonds. All right. Getting this thing out of the way. And it's pretty much going to boil down to right here, being able to get uh, this this pile out of the way. So we'll cycle through again. I'm going to wait on this until there's no more moves up top. So let's see what else is there. Uh, nothing. Okay, got that moved. All right. I think that may be, yeah. Now this jack, this jack of diamonds right here is a card we'd like to have down because that, that's the key to this 10. So in order to do that, we're going to need to move two cards in front of the jack of diamonds if possible. And we can do that because we can move this card and the king. But we're not going to move that eight of hearts. We're not going to move the eight of hearts. So, okay, move that, move that. We're going to hold the eight of hearts because we want the jack, we want the jack of diamonds to go right here. So, okay, I held that. Now I'm going to cycle through again. One, two, the jack of diamonds, which is right there. Can move the ten of clubs. And the rest of this should be should be solvable if I move them up the right way. Let's see. Let's just cycle through again here. Okay, yep. In like situations like this, you see you got a four of clubs and it won't the four won't go up here, right? But if there's a you know a red five to go underneath, that's good, because then we can go back and then put those cards back up there. All right, let's cycle through again. The six of clubs is going to draw. Oh, no, we got this one right here. Okay, good. I need to get this jack of spades to drop. I think it will because we moved two cards out. Oh, no. I went too fast there. So I'm going to back up here. And, and again, this goes back to the finding the extra move thing. If you'll notice, if you notice right here, I'm out of moves, right? Wrong. I went too fast. So I'm going to go back and find that extra move. And the move should be obvious right here. It was a sequence right here where we had the four of clubs, the three of clubs. After after that, though, we want to move this queen and the jack. In order, we can move the queen on this turn, but we have to wait till the next cycle through to move the jack. So okay, so all right. There's two cards to be moved. We only want to move one. We're gonna hold off on this card. So the sequence goes like this. We play the queen right here. We're going to cycle through again. And then the jack gets played. Now we can play the three of clubs. Now we can play the eight of hearts. Now we can play the seven of spades. Now we can play the four of diamonds. And then eventually that six card will get played too. Before we get to the six of clubs, let's see. We got to move some other cards around here, uh, and uh, to do that, if you notice, there's a five of hearts here. We'd like to get out. Well, the good news is, if we have two red fives, we can use these together, work together with them. So, in this circum circumstance, our extra move here is going to be to play the five of diamonds up top. That opens up the spot. For the five of hearts to go and that opens up the spot right here and we've solved it so yeah th this this game right here had a lot of examples of you know i gotta push this or push that you know working that extra move in because if you keep finding an extra move you can solve uh, difficult puzzles like this but you gotta think in terms of how do, how do i find an extra move what can I do differently uh, to open up some possibilities potentially? Just, you know, give yourself more chances to solve it. And, of course, that is going to ramp this up. I am signing out. Thank you for watching.